Hello guys, boys and girls, welcome to what is now going to be episode 3 of In Hindsight. Yes, this is going to be the third game against SK, won the previous one. Spoiler alert, we're also going to win this game. Um, I actually think this is one of the shorter games, so maybe now it's not too much to talk about. But we'll dive right into it. Also, I've seen some of you guys' comments on the first one, and apparently the audio levels are crispy, so that's perfect. Anyway. It's Friday for me, and I'm just chilling, just chilling today, man. Let's see what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna start with the boots, four health, two multi. Yeah, the reason why you go boots, I think, is that you want your boots on your first back, so you're more, like, you're better off defending your first buffs. Um, start wise, here you can see that they're doing the same start as they've always done. Archer kind of goes to try and invade uh, over there, where Wild Ward and I we're gonna go and, and pressure. Uh, do I think we actually go on proxy the wave here? The reason why we go on proxy is because we don't really think we're gonna die to, to Ram, Hachi, and Savannah's just a bunch of damage here. So we're in a really good spot. You see Neil Mars just running around right here, being annoying. So that's kind of hype. <laughs> Just running circles. Their focus uh, distracting them at that speed as well. But they do actually manage to get it up. So let's see here. Neil Ma, is he gonna die? <laughs> He's just running circles. Oh, he might die here actually. He's gonna die to the spiders, right? The spoilers, dude. Anyway, on the, the other side of the map, we got the pearl, we got the red buff, so in a really, really good spot of the start. Uh, we delayed a bunch of time. Sam as well had to take do so much time doing that uh, that that speed buff. So uh, all our buffs are still up, so we can still farm those while we're getting that blue buff. Like we're doing quite a bit. I think Morgan's gonna get a lead here in that fogger just because he has to go and, f uh, and, and like fuck around sorry can't say that at the at speed but it's pretty good for us oh yeah is he can i live here oh yeah he's fine oh. he got the blue though so if adapting's around from the our blue buff here like we're in a really good spot See here, I'm just gonna play around uh, dual lane. I think we're gonna try and definitely pressure Sap in a lot here. Look for the pull. Oof, that was a clutch, clutch pull right there. Oh well, it's pretty good. We have a really good start here. Like, not only you get the first blood, but hopefully, yeah, there you go. Oh, he actually stole that Nilma with the free. That's unfortunate. Anyway, if he wouldn't have stolen that, we definitely would have won the map there. Cause they only managed to get our red buff, while we got their red buff, their blue buff, and their pearl buff. So we're definitely farming way better than they are right now. Uh, you can't get worried. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm worried that their focus is a bit behind right here. But I think that's kind of the same that goes for, for on the other side of the map. It's just because I decide to pressure this side of the map while Nilma is deciding to pressure Soul's side of the map. So let's see what's going to happen. Bank was just playing up. I'm going to smack that. No, they See, so we go for the red buff in late. I think we have so much pressure from Duo that uh, as soon as our, our ADC is here, they can't really do anything about it. Like, we have such a big lead. You can see, I think they may try and collapse on us right here. We just decide to get out. I think more so just to defend our own boss with no initial farm are coming up. We're just being a bit annoying. Uh, nah. We're gonna dip. I think we could have gone for that pearl buff. I guess Zero's called out that he wasn't able to rotate, but yeah. How are we so far not further ahead than gold? I'm on gold instead of XP per minute. Hmm. That's where you'll see Neil really start to soak XP really consistently. He lets Sam and Zap split that purple. Just We're just playing up here because we have red buff. We realize we have a big advantage. We have uh, the level 5 on Hachi as well. We gotta be a bit careful because we don't have any waters on the map. I'm just kind of like reminiscing like what happened this game. But yeah, I probably have a bunch of gold. The next point is the blue buff, which is coming up. Then obviously both mid camps just kind of fell recently. So I think around now would be a good time for me to back. Uh, I think I'm gonna go behind the rock. 
try and back and see Vote is playing up. This is what I love about Vote. He doesn't give a shit. He'll just play up here. Like he he always takes those fights. <laughs> Big balls on the on the young world. There you go. Just being an absolute bully here. Which is great. Nice vote. Good job. Oh, this could be a potential gang on Vulcan mid. It seems he's playing super far up. Kenneth's here. Do I have blink? I sprint. That's Vulcan ult right there. I sprint myself in just so I can come in here in time. And that should be a very dead pull. There you go. He's just playing super far up without walls. And that, that actually means... I think... I remember this because we didn't want to go for this red invade. Because we didn't think we'd be strong enough to win it. Because vote hadn't backed yet. But then we decided to go for it just because we got that kill. So this actually means we get... So much for getting that kill. Also get the totem. Very nice. A little bonus. See I'm looking for Sabman right here. But we're just going to try and get the pearl buff now as well. So, oh, Sab's here. Oh, he barely gets out. Bam. Take the buff. Get out. So we're just stealing away farm. Which just puts us in such a good spot. Because not only are we getting that farm. That's also farm they're not getting. So XP wise you can see... All of us are just getting ahead slowly but surely. Like I think it's, the, it's really it's good for us. It's number one. They've been playing at the strategy a little bit more, and so they're they're starting to work out how to beat it. But um, secondly, it's getting into the rhythm of competitive smite again. It's week one. This is set reinforced on me. I guess it reinforces really like super good into Dadi. Just kind of wanders into Archer as well, just because you get your stacks on the passive up super fast. So it's really good. Um. Big point of Savannah's by the way. Max your one. If you're a Savannah's player and you max your two, you're doing it wrong. Maybe that's why he doesn't feel so good for you. Max the one as once, it's really good. Go down cooldown, you get more penetration, you get more damage, it's a lower cooldown, it's just perfect. Wait, so two you get your... doesn't do more damage, it's just a more healing. Oi! Benko! Ooh, nice. Old out. That's such a good trade for their Forker. Like, now that Morgan doesn't have ult, we can probably look to invade the next blue buff or something, because he, he won't be in a good spot for that. They're invading up blue, though. I'm not around right now. That's rough. I probably should have been around there. I guess I was just backing, resetting, getting some wards, but I, I mean, I think I could have been around to defend that blue buff. Really important that we just try and try and get these blue buffs kind of on cooldown. So that's purification beats as well. No blink for the Iraq. Playing up here. That foul Getting some Orbit. some more. Some more pressure. Red buff, it is. Look at our wards on the side of the map right now, by the way. This is just us kind of saying, like, all right, we're just going to control the jungle. And, and by getting this uh, red buff consistently, we'll just be getting ahead. They're doing the same thing to us on the other side of the map. Savannah's passive really saving me right there. I'm going to prop my heal there. Um, just to make sure. I don't think I decide. Yeah, I didn't, don't decide to ult right here. Because I know that if the portal pulls me ult, I won't get pulled to the wrong side of it. So that's why I like go to the right towards the mid camp because I, I can't they can't hit me through the Pelo or whatever it's called. New Mart dashed in here right here, so I think he's pretty dead. Oh I kills I get a sick pull on Sap here. Look at this. That's uh that's just sick. We get a kill in mid. We get a kill, two kills over there. That means we can get gold. We got that buffs. That's just so good for us. Oh yeah, vote just blood forge. <laughs> I assume so. Yeah, that's really good for us. Like now we're just kind of have a really, really big lead, and it's gonna be super tough for them to do anything about this. I think they need a Morgan rotation here to go in back into the game. What should we do right now to extend the lead? I mean, getting the mid tower would actually be super helpful for us. Hmm. I don't know. I think what we need to do is we need to try and get this Metal. They keep going for this blue buff and which I guess is alright, but it's risky at the same point, right? Like, do you really want to invade this when we can fight over here? Like, they probably just want to make sure they can get their own buffs. It's gonna be that old right there. And they're gonna go again on Death Walker. He goes absolutely ham. I barely don't make it to Death Walker here. Which is super unfortunate. 
but Sam was right it's just like rough for them, I guess. Like we, okay, at that thing I right now, at that we should be looking for the jungles. Like we should even go on proxy the next wave and look for the jungle. I guess we're just looking for the jungle. Oh, yeah, you can see we're looking to proxy the next wave and then we can look to go for that jungle. So I think that's really good for the, the way we play that. That's definitely how we're supposed to play it. No one can be around us right now, so so just making sure we can get as much of that jungle as possible is really good for us. Uh, I guess it kind of sucks for Death Hogger, he won't get that farm. Uh, that's how it is. So we're just looking for their buffs now. I think we got that blue. Yeah, so we got that blue. We got that back cams. We proxied the wave. He basically, Death Hogger can do whatever he wants. He doesn't get a wave though. Pop ankle. But uh, arguably he wouldn't have been there for that wave anyway. But we should group for this mid tower, like get Pyro or something. Right now Vote can push in this wave because Rama just backed. And then he should go mid and get the tower. Getting the mid tower gives you so much map pressure because it gives you one more route that you can escape or like get into red buff from. Uh, and that may also means that SK can't really get in without being threatened, or threatened uh, to red buff. It's just all about like map pressure and control in your jungle. So getting that tower is super huge. It's definitely the best tower to get, I think. Uh, also, like the mid laner hasn't played so far up the farm, he doesn't have a tower to run back to. So your survivability basically doubles in a lot of situations if you're a carry because you have Aegis instead of nothing or beads where you would have gotten CC to death in most situations. It, it is see, a world sitting for 179. Why really can't you see what Sap? Wants to go straight up, but mm. boat losing the trade. Oh, yeah, both spading Sap here. This is funny. Moment, but ah, I see. Vault would definitely have soloed Sap there anyway. Look at Vault's health. And Sap was like super low. <laughs> God damn it. That's a really good bait. Red buff is coming up. You know what that means. <laughs> We're gonna go for the invade. I'm a bit aggressive right here. Which I guess is alright. I'm gonna go on Sam here. He just has to ult. We kind of mistimed the Vulcan ult off it as well, so we just get that. Now we should insta go mid right here. I would like, like, this is what I'd like to see for us right now is recognize that Vote can rotate over. I guess we're getting left tower, but like, we just want to get at least one of the towers here. Proxing out the wave and left. Trying to get some damage on the mid tower here. The more damage we get, the more likely we are to get it when we find a duke group for that. You can see Death Hogger is just having fun here. That must be like the most annoying matchup for Morgan. I kind of get poked out right here, but I mean, I think I'm fine. I'm really tanky at this point. Lotus Crown, pretty go to. I think I don't go Thieves this game because I just kind of want to snowball it. Uh, like, you can go Thieves for late game. But if you're this far, far, far ahead, like you might as well get the MP5, it's really nice. You get you get the extra prots, it's gonna make you tank objectives more, and it's just feels good. Feels good, man, to have Lotus Crown. After that, probably only Hunters, but it, that could definitely be a Shogun's as well. Vault and Sap just fighting again. What kind of getting his ass spanked? That's rough. Group up for the tower, boys. Come on, man. They're Forker, man. That's so rough for the Morgan player. This is the. Oh my god, why is my teammate so good at the game? Yeesh. Alright, that's a solo tower. Now we should get Duo Tower, we should get Pyro. The next only three is super good, so. Okay, we're gonna go Pyro now. There you go. We're getting right tower. Are they gonna go for gold here? Or? So Death Walker can just zone, we can do it. Uh, our buffs are up in left, I guess they could have went for invade, so that actually might be a... If they get all the buffs there, and like all the neutral, if, if Vulcan and Rama played up, I don't think they can though, because we're so far ahead. But if they do, it, maybe that power is not worth it. But anyway, this also gives us space to reset a new uh, gold, but I think we actually just decide to do gold straight away right now. Uh, so Oni is really good. After this Oni Fury, honestly we can push up. <laughs> Get the uh, perk gold as well. He missed all the old shots. I remember that. That was fucking funny. I was like, what the fuck? Kenneth is gonna go ham here. Ay, ay, ay. They're me. Oh, yeah, they do fire again this game. This is like the most troll thing ever. 
Benko, dude. He just goes ham. So he's dead. So they get fire there. That's kind of why they play Vulcan so much. But I think Sam is fine. He helps Zeros here. Run to me, Zeros. That's not good for us. They traded two for three. I guess we got gold and we got a tier two there. I keep a in combat here. So you can see what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure that my dot effect stays on Belair so he can't go in this. So I'm just waiting out my heal all the way. I'm just trying to interrupt the, the invis. Oh, come on, Kenneth. Nice. There we go. Vogue we'll got a tier 2. So it, it, it ends up working out alright for us, but I think we maybe we're a bit too greedy. Someone should have been around fire there, because we if they have Vulcan, they can kind of do that FG. Uh, and what Echo's saying, like now we can't get it. Also, only three waves was a thing here, so we actually get so much gold from it just because the only waves are so strong. I think we get this tower right here as well, and then we just dip. I think we should get out. A bit greedy to go for that, but I guess we can't really get punished. Reset now. I think everyone has so much gold because we have a 10k gold lead. So, so we should just regroup now and I think start sieging the tier two. Wait for the next fire giant. That's, that's the thing that kind of sucks right now is I don't think our tower siege is the best unless I get Emperor's armor. All right, I got Emperor's armor. There we go. Good call, Melsi. So I got Emperor's armor. That means we can siege Phoenixes pretty easily because Emperor's armor. Oh, sorry. God damn it. It's uh, it's so good against. Uh, it's so good against these kind of. Oh, uh, it. What am I? Okay, sorry, I got distracted. It's really good when you're in a spot like we are right now, where you want to siege a phoenix, but it's really early into the game, so it kind of sucks sieging phoenixes. We should group right now. Don't know why. We guess we're pushing up left, but we should really just try and group mid, push up with these waves. Um, let's see here. Some characters like Zeus, for example. Let's see here. I don't really care that much about leveling. I can tank this. I just I'm just gonna do it because I can. Yeah. Look at the tower's not really gonna do any damage to me here. This is how good the Empress armor is. Look, I'm barely taking any damage tanking that tower. I do admittedly I do have my heal. Oh yeah, that goes for the two v one. Uh this is kind of the thing you need to do if you're SK you need to split push whenever we group up. So Ken is ready, he's just gonna go ham there. Alright. Kenneth's having fun, dude. Wait for the blink. Well played, Kenneth. Kenneth can even go for Ram here. He has blink, so Rama's gonna die as well. Most likely. Nope. Oh, oh, they actually get a lot there. That's kind of bad for us that they got so much from that. Hmm. Unfortunate. We did get that kill though. We got the tier two, and I think we just wait for the next fire now. Like it's two minutes, which kind of sucks. But with this next FG, I think we should just be able to win the game. I get shoguns. Shoguns can help with the siege as well. My whole build is just kind of around the, the siege now. I got blink as well, not a shell. I think we need blink to engage the fight. Or engage is a bit weird because Arthur can engage. Sure, you don't want the Reckon to engage. So so we we want the Savannas to be able to engage uh, the fights. But uh, but but the big advantage we have right now is that that thing can kind of one v one anyone. Like he can even two v one as you guys just saw. So that means that the map play that SK can do to counter how we are playing is 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 just kind of rough for them because they need to be more than, than two people otherwise they're just at risk of dying uh, it feels like so vote as us you know honestly what's the point of building chins when everyone's so low level they don't have health there's no, you don't, you don't get That's a good point. This is my aggro. This is the Just listening to the cast now. I, I don't want uh, Matt dies on Cyrus. I guess he's tired of getting dodgy ulted. You see Kenneth is going at it in left again. I think this time he's gonna get 4 man ganked though. That slow immunity is so good, man. And Kenneth is just all right here. Like, that just uses so much here. Get the heal as well. And now they're in a really tough spot. The boys. Of SK, because Deathwalker is here. We're on the China flank right now. Yoink. Got a heal here. We should push left now. Vote gets the kill. 
that thing's gonna kill me ma eventually here so i don't know what really i guess okay fire dad is not up right now so i thought we had fire for some reason anyway now we do primal then we back and then we do fire it hey, was back here just get ready at this point honestly we could even invest into 500 gold pots i think that's one thing team c2 did though because like right now like why would you get obsidian shot one when you can get a 500 gold pot and get 50 power like why would i do that uh, same with vote he doesn't really need to to upgrade his blade i think that's one thing teams can begin to do to a, mo a lot more is like invest 2500 gold into getting 500 pots so you just do more damage which is kind of unexpected um or, like, even upgrading a relic or something i don't think it's that significant with peace and eggs though Hor horrible tanking by me here. Don't really know what I'm doing. So the way we should play this right now is adapting should go mid and the rest should go and push out right. Uh, if they split push left, there's no way like they'll will be at their phoenixes by the time that our one tier tier one tower. Just because we got those picking left and we managed to pick up uh, push up the wave, so so it's actually really good for us right here. So we're gonna go right. Need to make sure we we push in. How do we play the fight? I think Deathwalker just kind of runs at them with a Savannah's heal, and we'll honestly be alright if they full engage. We can put gold, and we're in a good spot. We we just need to make sure both stays alive, because he is our Phoenix damage. So yeah, we're just gonna start tanking this up a bit. Look for pull down Nilma, so so we kill any front line really hard. So waiting for adapting right now though. We don't really want to push in before adapting has uh, pushed in. A lot, so there you go. Morgan goes in, gets the dart yield. Uh, that's actually not bad by Belair right there, because now Zeros is definitely gonna get dart pulled. Oh, but dart is gonna have to be bit. <laughs> this is scary, because this Arachne is so good. So like what SK decides to do is it decides to take the fight. Ken is definitely gonna just kill Belair in mid right now. This is a bit rough for them. So that thing can literally kill him now that he Morgan doesn't have old and meanwhile in right like I think we're fine I'm getting a bit poked here, but with so much sustain with Savannah that I don't think it matters too much same with adapting He's just heating up with that directly passive going ham Hitting down the Phoenix, so they're gonna go here. I think we, we get a pull on Nilma So we can they're gonna get a huge start yield, but they can't do much with it They just don't have the damage to follow up I'm just kind of managed to run it in. I think adapting picks in here and like takes a, a tick for the fountain. I remember that. He like runs into the fountain. It's like, oh my god, what happened? So right now, big thing is like we could have just straight up win for the end, but it's just safer to wait for the Savannah's heal. So just waiting for the Savannah's heal right there, just to get some extra health, and then it's at least guaranteed we get it. We just try and clear out the turret. We clear the turret. Don't know what the time is doing. It's just trolling. And yeah. Damn. Right? Win the game. Wow. Win the set. An High fives. All around the board. That was really good. That's just a very, very clean game by us. I don't think there's too many big mistakes. Maybe we could have gotten the mid tower a bit before, but the way we played that actually works out really, really well for us. So let's see here. Let's check it out. Oh. Uh, this screen is here to be seen. Prevent spoilers by guessing documents. There's no point watching past this point. Uh, I guess we're just gonna watch this for another hour. No mind. Um, I want to see the damage stats and stuff like that. There. So hard to find it, man. Mute that stuff. Mute that instantly. Huge performance from the Savannah's player. Oh, oh, and 10. That's what you want, honestly. What a beast. What a monster. Adapting and, and Zeros just kind of ran this game though, so that's really good for us. Jump on the Kenneth, the Kenneth uh, carry train. That's how I, how I like it. Um, item wise, that probably would have been a spirit rope, even a magi. Is 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 not too bad. Uh, yep. And the damage stats. Are they gonna show that? There we go. The damage. Bunch of healing. 5k healing. What a beast. Honestly. Does the SK set, I think we were surprised that we won this set more so than anything. I didn't think anyone of us were like, oh yeah, well, we're just gonna smack SK. Uh, they're gonna get so farmed. We were like, okay, this is actually gonna be a long set. Uh, we thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was. I think SK played well, but they were too like one-minded with a strategy. The strategy kind of developed around picking away more again from us in, in throughout all the drafts and that was a good idea with the dodge as well, but you just need to be ready to have some kind of diversity with that, if that makes sense. Like, you can't just pick Morgan and dodge and just keep doing the same thing. Like, eventually a team is going to adapt to it. So that's, like, the big thing. 
It does like still a lot of sloppy plays, but at least game three was a lot cleaner than game one and two. So so definitely you saw an improvement over the set. But uh, next time I'll see you guys, it's going to be our games against Space Station. So those should be fun to watch back as well. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider to leave a like, come subscribe, press the bell. Until next time, everyone, peace out. No,